Hi, it's Jeff Harrison with MacroMonster.com. I had a friend in Europe ask me the other day about working in scale. And it's something that I actually avoid doing. I tend to work at one-to-one -one at all times, even if it's working on a larger sign. And the reason is it allows me to easily output the job without any kind of calculations or math or anything like that. The only time that I, I need to scale something down physically is when I want to put it on an artwork proof sheet and uh, for that so that the customer is aware of of what they're paying for I'll include some dimension lines so I'll left click on something like CAD tool which has a built-in dimensioning function and I'm going to left click on the outside rectangle there press the button over here and that simply drops in some dimension lines that are now uh, disconnected from Corel draws dimensioning system so what I'll do is I'll select everything, put it on the clipboard by pressing Control C, go over to an artwork proof sheet page. This is a fictional company there, for example. Paste it in, and obviously it's going to be much larger than the proof sheet. But what I'll do is uh, a couple of things here. I'll go to convert to bitmap, convert it to perhaps a fairly low resolution, such as 60 dots per inch. Now at these high um, dimensions, that it's actually okay because once I scale this down dramatically to perhaps that size, press the P key, press the F4 key to zoom in, I'll just go down on the page, scale this upwards until it looks good relative to the size of the page. And when I zoom in there, we're actually at a fairly high resolution now, 654 dpi. But what happens now is I'll, I'll, put, I'll drop in some information about, um, you know, the, maybe the uh, the materials being used, the price of the job, and a space for their credit card number, things like that. And uh, so when they're signing for the artwork, they're also signing for the materials used for the job, the quantity, uh, the revision level of the job, and um, they're not just signing for the artwork, they're also signing for the order, which is really important. That way, in one handy sheet, once I get that back from them, uh, we're ready to go. So that's uh, that's what I do with scale. I actually just physically scale the artwork down. And uh, I find that out of making several, I don't know, hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of signs over the years, I haven't had one customer care about scale. What they do want to know is the dimensions of what it is they're paying for and the price of what they're paying for. Okay, so I hope that uh, helps you out and gives you some ideas of how uh, how I work. And the other reason I converted to bitmap is that for some reason if the art, if the customer uh, for whatever reason tries to steal the artwork and use it somewhere else, they have a, uh, a bitmap version of it. Right now it's at a fairly high resolution, but you know I might convert that to six, you know, 300 dpi or something at this point just to lower it down so it's easier to email. Still, still high enough resolution that they can print it off on their um, you know, printer, color printer, their shop, but they can't really use this job easily for a real sign later on. So, you know, you want to keep your artwork protected so that you have the crispest quality of everything, you know. All right, so hopefully answer some questions and uh, keep on using CorelDRAW. Hope it's working good for you.